Hi guys, my name is Odumola and this is This is the Lifesavers Apprentice. Yes, this is the Lifesavers Apprentice where we give you everything that's good about health and we give you information that would help you make better and well-informed health decisions. Once again, welcome to my channel. Yes, yes. So uh, guys, today what we're going to talk about is why people with the AA genotype are more um, susceptible to malaria as, as opposed to people that have the SE or the SS or the AS, AS in particular, genotype. You know, uh, I saw this uh, tweet on uh, Twitter about a thread actually, a thread about this lady, you know, there was this thread about, you know, what's the, um, maybe the, the thing, the other thing, you know, the, the sweet thing that you don't for love, and someone was like, oh, he was waiting outside for a girl for hours, and someone replied that thread and said, me, I'm AA, I can't be waiting outside. Eh, for nobody, mosquitoes will bite me and I will come down with malaria. It was funny to me because you know, a lot of people know that AA people get malaria more than AS or any other genotype. But why? Why? Let's ask ourselves why. Is it because of something they eat? Is it because of what they drink? Is it because of their genetic condition or whatever? So today that's what we're going to be talking about. Why AA people get malaria more? If you've not subscribed to the channel, can you do that now? Click that subscribe button, click it. it ain't gonna watch it. Click it. Thank you. So um uh I'm going to do a bit of biology. So it's simple, it's just simple. The um red blood cells, those are the things uh, that give the red uh, blood its red color. They're the ones that are responsible for carrying oxygen uh from the lungs to the tissues and uh, carbon dioxide from the tissues to the lungs. So um we have variants of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the red pigment in the red blood cells. Uh, the variants of hemoglobin now is what you give that what gives you the AA or the AS or whatever. The AA hemoglobin and uh, the AA hemoglobin is more stable. The lifespan of that hemoglobin is 120 days. That, but that's what makes the lifespan of red blood cells to be 120 days. But the S is sickle in shape. Is more unstable, and for the people that have that have AS genotype, that means they have fifty percent stable hemoglobin and fifty percent sickled hemoglobin. So, in the life cycle of the malaria parasite, uh, first uh, it develops in the liver and then moves into the bloodstream. So, from in the bloodstream, uh, that's where it develops into the other cells and then moves on and then proliferates. Let me use that word. So, um, for those that have AA blood group, the malaria parasite can fester and grow because the lifespan of that red blood cell is 120 days. Imagine having 120 days to do whatever you want. So, the malaria parasite can now live and grow well and you know, fester in their blood. But for those that have 50% normal hemoglobin and 50% circle hemoglobin, the lifespan of the sickled hemoglobin is much shorter, so it gets destroyed in skin because the integrity is not as solid as the A hemoglobin. So by the time you, the malaria parasite infects the blood, uh, the S hemoglobin gets destroyed faster. So the mal malaria parasite cannot even fester, you understand, it cannot even grow. And uh, some people, some other authorities will say that even the S, it's S uh, cells itself, if the malaria, there's some other school of problem. If the S, if the malaria parasite infects the S cell, something that's not already stable, by the time it gets infected with the malaria parasite, even before being destroyed by the body in the normal, you know, rejuvenation cycle, the S cell not being stable will even burst, and then the malaria parasite will also, in that process, be destroyed. So, guys, AA guys getting malaria more is not magic. It's not magic. It is just pain biology and. Note that this doesn't mean that the AS guys too are not susceptible to malaria. It just means that the AA guys are more likely to get it more. So, uh, and even AA guys, when you fall sick, not everything is malaria. You know, some people put it feel fever already. They like, oh, I'm AA. I am going to go and get anti malaria. No, bulls, don't do that. If you're sick, be sure you see your doctor or at least get a test done to be sure that you actually have the malaria that you think you have. And self medication, guys, is not an option. Be sure to see your doctor. Antibiotics resistance is everywhere and resistance to um, other drugs, to uh, anti fungi, anti bacteria, even anti malaria. You understand? It's possible. So let's be careful of how we live and how we do the things we do so that's it on the vlog today guys i hope you enjoyed watching if you've not subscribed can you click that button click it like fully click it and um what else social media handles i am on instagram at 
and Twitter at the underscore Odola and you can still subscribe to this channel and the blog is on Instagram at the Life of Apprentice. My name is your name is Odola. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Don't forget to like, share, share with your friends who learn to learn.